two of my top Marvel favorites, Venom and Wolverine. So when Donny Cates combined them in the Absolute Carnage and King and Black event, I was stoked. So much so that I had to buy a statue. Not just one, but two. <laughs> Hey, my name is Mr. X. Welcome to the Extreme Channel. We are giving away $1,000 statues to you guys. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Today, we are looking at a custom Venomized Wolverine. But again, I always say Venomized is the wrong term because to me, Venom is Eddie Brock in the symbiote, where this is more of a symbioted Wolverine. Now, as I said, there's actually comic basis for this, and not only is there comic basis, but it's pretty cool comic basis. The events leading up to Noel, the god of the symbiotes, which ended up being one of the most powerful and evil Marvel characters there ever was, symbiotes got all over everybody. Captain America, Miles Morales, obviously we know Spider-Man, Hulk, Deadpool, Loki, Ghost Rider, and I'm looking over there because I have all these different symbioted statues including another symbioted Wolverine. You can actually check out the original review right here. Now keep in mind that's really important because in a few weeks we're gonna do a comparison video between this one and that one because they're both incredibly different despite the fact that they are a venomized or symbioted Wolverine and there's not too many of those out there. But very excited to get this piece because the creators of this, I've owned quite a few of their other pieces. First is their Toxin statue, which I got a few months ago, and it is absolutely one of my favorites. Make sure to check out this review. It's a great storyline and an even better statue. That Venomized Hulk I showed earlier is also from the exact same group. Then years ago, I used to own one of the first pieces they did, this Venom, which was magnificent, especially for its time. Although I think nowadays there's a lot better Venom statues. But I love this whole key and black storyline. I love Venomizing or symbioting everything. Not only because it does look badass, but like I said, I think the storyline is absolutely fantastic. It's one of my favorites, probably my favorite of the last decade. But with that, today we're going to focus on this statue. We're going to give them a review. Like I said, there's some awesome things about this. Starting with, ready? So pretty. All right, so let's dive in. We're going to look at the concept, starting with the base. Now what they've done here, this is some type of cryo containment chamber. And maybe this is the one that the weird ass Mr. Fantastic was building to actually get the codex, the symbiote out of people. I don't think it was. It was one that the symbiote was trapped inside of and it broke out and it got on Logan. It got on this quintessential X-Men. You can see that because the symbiote is everywhere. And then what the symbiote does is it merges different parts of what we know as Venom with the host. So that's why you can easily tell that this is both Wolverine and Venom, no matter which portrait you're displaying, because there's quite a few, but the claws are kind of a dead ringer. We have those giant metallic adamantium claws coming out. He's in a fierce mode. He's hunched over like we see Wolverine all the time. And this is such a cool concept. And what's funny is, again, I'm gonna try not to make too many references back to that other piece that I have because I'm gonna do that comparison video, but it's a completely different concept than that one, which is also very good. So I like it, it's different, it's gonna go well with all my other symbiotic pieces if I decide to keep it, because again, it's gonna be between those two. I give the concept a four out of five. I think it's awesome, the containment chamber was a great idea. I don't remember if this is from an exact scene, I'd have to go back. I think it might even predate Absolute Carnage, but for now, let's dive into the design. So as you see, they have a bunch of portraits, which is one of the coolest parts, but not only that, but this is probably the coolest portrait display holder I've ever seen. We're gonna talk more about that after the quick unboxing and assembly. One box, thank God, because I am running out of box space, and two layers in the custom black foam, as you see here. <laughs>
So as you saw, not a lot of pieces. I appreciate that they kept all the tendrils attached. The only arm switch outs are what we have. I don't think you can even remove, uh, you probably could with force remove the adamantium claws, but why would you display a Wolverine without the claws? But it does give us five great portrait options. Let's look at those. First one is kind of what I would call a half Wolverine, half Venom. So this is probably what he would eventually look like. And then there's one where the eyes are still the eyes of Wolverine. So very similar, the tongue's going in a different direction. Then we have a transformation portrait where you can still see Logan through half of it on his right side here. And we're gonna do close-ups video of all these. And then two fully black ones in case you don't like the yellow cow. This one, no tongue, reminds me of like an old McFarlane. And then this one with the tongue. Now, I always hate when they give you a ton of different portraits because you want to display more than one. Well, here, not only did they make a portrait display, but they made a portrait display like I've never seen before, and I love it. I love the light-up feature, how it's like a conceptual piece that plays off the original base. Huge fan of that. That made this a knockout for the design, in my opinion. But before we get to the score, I will measure him. The base is about 11 inches wide. Add a few more inches for uh, part, parts that jut out. It's only about nine inches deep, and the tallest part is probably this symbiote strand, right under 20 inches. So that is fantastic for me. He will fit in a normal case. That's a huge pro. As you're gonna see, the other one is quite a bit taller. I think it's bordering 30 inches. And I like that because Wolverine is a really small guy. However, one could argue that the symbiote makes you bigger. So maybe not having him grow isn't accurate. Again, more things we'll dive into in the comparison video. Everything fit really well. The way that the portraits are, you can't even see the seam line because the ears on this cowl kind of cover that up. The seam line portraits on the arms were hidden incredibly well. You can't even tell they're there due to his pose. I think the design's a five out of five, something unique with the extra portraits. This looks so great, it's easily displayable. Props to them. Paint and Sculpt, one of the reasons I didn't hesitate buying this when I already had the other one is simply for the fact I know they do a great job. This is no exception, check it out. The vibrant color on this guy is crazy. It keeps changing uh, with my phone here. But let's look at a few of the portraits first. So the transformation portrait, while I like the concept, I think there's a little bit of miss on the actual uh, Wolverine itself. You can see the skin texture right here. I think that's where, where it's kind of a miss. There's almost no wrinkles. The skin is too smooth in my opinion. But I do like how the symbiote's wrapping around. The teeth all look phenomenal on every single piece. Same thing with the tongue and the saliva effect. Pretty cool. So like I said, conceptually fantastic, but I just don't like that part right there. Here is the half and half, or not half and half, but you still have the yellow on top again. Same comments about the teeth and the tongue. You can see the, his cowl right there. This one is fully transformed. So essentially it's the same as the one we just looked at, but the tongue goes in a different direction. And then you have the black, no tongue, and a little bit of a scar, which I don't understand because that should be healing. I'd have to go back and look at the comic again, but it looks great. The blood in it looks fantastic. And then of course the last one here, where like, like we talked about the top half is kind of the Wolverine. You can see that that color change right there. It's more of a static uh, yellow Wolverine that you would traditionally see, and I like that they did the symbol like this. Uh, we're gonna talk about at the end how there was a variant available, but you can kind of see the, the spider venom symbol, but then it kind of breaks off. I think that's fantastic. And the light they added in here, the blue really gives the symbiote a moving texture feeling. So it feels like it's moving around. And not only due to the blue highlights they've added in, and there's quite a bit, but just due to the way the tendrils are forming, wrapping around him, lifting up, really feels like this statue is moving. So much intricate detail. And as I said, this group has done many Venom statues. There's the... Uh, other one I was talking about that I got recently. The uh, tube, cryo container, whatever you wanna call it, looks fine. Wires are a little big right here, it's on the side so you're not gonna see. But I do like the weathering on it, the hoses running down, the broken glass looks great, especially using plastic for the glass. 
then even a lot of intricacy and details on the inside. It is metal for the claws, which you have to do for Wolverine in my opinion. It's almost a miss when you don't. But it looks really good. The anatomy is kind of different. And just so you know, the, the other one we're comparing it to, I know you saw the screenshot, but he's currently up right there. So you're going to see a comparison in their, their, they have a huge contrast, very, very different. I also like how they end, added the symbiote suit around where the uh, portraits plug into. And this cryo container looks great. Like I said, just such a cool concept. So yeah, I'm a big fan. I knew they weren't gonna miss on this one. They rarely miss. Can't wait to uh, compare the other two, but as far as paint and sculpt, they knocked it out of the park, which I think was expected. Sculpt, I think is a five out of five. Knocked it out of the park. Those little intricacies within the costume itself make it look like it's moving. That is absolutely awesome. Paint, I think is a four out of five. It's strong, it's much better than average, not as good as the sculpt. Little too much blue for me when I look at it, you know, even though it adds that movement, I still, still go for that. Now with the paint, as I kind of hinted to, you didn't have to get the yellow stripes. So kind of at the last minute in production or towards the end, they're like, you know, Venom is white. Maybe people want him as white. So we're gonna talk about that in a minute. So that'll lead us into the value discussion. Okay, so the yellow ones, they made 60 of these. And then I believe they made 10 more of the white. It was a really rare variant. Believe it or not, this quarter scale guy only retailed for a thousand. Now that seems like a lot, it really does. But for custom pieces, that's not too bad, especially knowing how good this is and some of the stuff they did over here. On top of the fact that nowadays, I really feel like the licensed quarter scale market, and just so you guys know, if you're new to the channel, custom means it's a private unlicensed commission. License means that Disney, who owns Marvel, would have signed off on this. But let's be honest, Disney will never make a Venomized Wolverine polystone statue. And if they did, it wouldn't look this badass. But most of those statues are $800 to $1,200, so I think it's right in line. And I think this is gonna be really highly sought after. So I'm gonna give it a four out of five on the value, even though that's a little preliminary. But this is really, really awesome, especially knowing the fact that Wolverine is such a loved character, and so is Venom. If you have to think of what Marvel characters do they make the most out of, those two are probably in the top three. Does he have the X Factor? Is he a five out of five? You know, I do like the Toxin better. Uh, I think this is great. I don't know if I like this one or the other one better. I'm really gonna have to figure that out. I like them both a lot, but I am gonna give him a five out of five. I think he's borderline like four and a half, but I never do half points, even though I kind of just did by justifying that and saying it to myself. But it's my channel. I can make up whatever fucking rules I want. As we try to grow this channel, we like to reward you guys for watching and subscribing. So because of that, every 5,000 milestone when it comes to subscribers, we give away a couple thousand dollars worth of statues. We've actually given away over 20 statues. To win one is easy. First, you gotta be subscribed to the channel. You'll get bell notifications when videos drop. Each video that drops, you wanna make a comment on those videos. We pick a random video, we give away statues. Based on a comment, you can say whatever you want. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning in and sharing this with me. Not physically, I get to keep it. Sorry, you can look at it through the camera. In the meantime, I hope you're doing well. Take care of yourself. All right, let's see here.